Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for uh, quarter two of 2022. Uh, we're going to just jump right in here, Taurus, and uh, see what is going on for you. Um, there will only be one part to this reading, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify in this reading as well. And that'll be that. So there you go. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, th this deck, by the way, this is the Prisma Visions Tarot, if you're wondering uh, what deck I am using. But uh, this looks pretty good already. You have this, in the area of the unexpected, you have this unexpected income card, which is um, pretty nice. So there could be some uh, an increase in your income this quarter, or there could just be unexpected income. You know, as I always say to you, Taurus, um, pretty much anything that could provide you with more freedom is is very very likely with Uranus and Taurus so obviously um, money is you know it provides a lot of freedom uh, you have this dignified card and it says strength on it this is in your current general energies and you know, you have the strength card in this row as well. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be kind of very strong at this time. I feel more like this is something that you're working on. Strangely enough, Taurus, um, you know, this quarter I've been getting a lot of this energy where it seems to me like people are kind of working either towards something or on something consistently. You have the strength card. I'll just show you. You have the strength card to the six of pentacles. Both cards to me kind of represent like working on something longer term. I do feel that that falls into security as well. I mean, you know, and freedom. I feel that, um, you know, as we move forward into the future, that not just you, but a lot of people will be working on projects that provide like longer term security or freedom. Uh, and these could be like personal projects, side hustles, you know, whatever you want to call it, basically. So it doesn't really surprise me that it's coming up. But I feel like a lot of you have been very strong. Um, in this row, you have the Strength card, the Lovers, and the Ace of Wands. The Strength card is kind of like a display of strength. Normally, the lady on this card, she has her hands in the lion's mouth. And I always say, who in their right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? And the answer is nobody. <laughs> so I feel for a lot of you that there is an opportunity to display your strength at this time. And it's probably just going to lead to like a lot of success or, you know, you, you end with the Six of Cups and, you know, the thing about the Six of Cups is sometimes it's just like a gift from the universe. It's forward progress. So if you're doing something that um, requires strength, that you could just be making progress. Uh, you do have the lovers here. And I do feel that there could be love coming in for you. You have basically every single sign here. So, you know, fire stands out to me as always with you, Taurus. So um, you have Leo, you have just fire in general in here. So like I said, it could be a fire sign, could be any sign, general reading, but I do feel like there is love. It could be an air sign as well, by the way. Um, but I do feel like there's love available to you if you want it with the lover's card. Really, I feel like this is saying, you know, pick a new path as well. Um, pretty much everyone has had these cards of, you know, picking something new. I just think it is time to pick something new. We are in a time of innovation. We have all this energy that's going to be moving through Aquarius. Aquarius is the sign of the innovator. <laughs> so I keep encouraging people to try new things. If you're wanting to like start a business or if you're wanting to get into a relationship, try a different type of person. Um, you know, I think really the easiest way to be successful right now is to try something new. I know it sounds ridiculously simple, but it is. And here you go. You have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands says, follow your inspiration. I feel that could be, that's like a little bit of a challenge right now is following your inspiration because I feel like our inspirations don't necessarily, you know, make sense uh, or we, we could feel inspired to do crazy things. I would also say that we're probably experiencing limitations around our, our inspirations. You might be feeling inspired to move to, you know, Hollywood or something like that, but maybe you don't have the money. The Ace of Wands like <laughs> says you have to do it anyway. Um, the thing with the Ace of Wands is that we can experience a crumbling um, before we actually experience the Ace of Wands, before we get the rewards or whatever you want to call it. Normally in the background, there is a castle that is crumbling. And again, usually we experience some sort of crumbling down type of energy with the Ace of Wands before we actually get the reward. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this purity card. Um, you have the Fool here as well. The Fool actually represents purity. He is normally holding the white rose behind him. On this Fool card, it's a pelican, so <laughs> bad example. But 
normally he's holding a white rose. White roses in the tarot represent purity and kind of like having pure intentions. I feel like your future self is more saying, as long as you're doing things like from the heart, uh, you are going to be finding a lot of success at this time. You have the five of cups, the six of pentacles and the page of wands here. I feel a very strong need to kind of like let go of past disappointments. Uh, the five of cups energy again has been a dominant energy for the past couple of months for several signs. I think you are one of them. And the five of cups is kind of past disappointments that's what I feel like it is for you and regrets. I feel like if you're comparing yourself to your old self, then you're going to have a hard time. I feel like you need to realize that you are a new self <laughs> and your new self is much more capable of accomplishing like much, much more in life. And I really feel you need to embrace that energy of looking like realizing that you have come a long way. I feel with the six of pentacles, number one, Six of Pentacles, I'm getting like a prove it energy here. With these Six of Pentacles, we might feel like we're not capable or we're not able to do something like start a business or get into a relationship, whatever it is you desire. Six of Pentacles says, well, just try it just a little bit, you know? Six of Pentacles is a card of planting seeds. It's a card of taking the smallest step. And I feel that's what you need to do at this time. But for you, it's a little different. Again, for you, I feel an energy more where you're like needing to prove something to yourself. And I feel like once you do that, you're gonna say, I'm not my old self anymore. I am something new. <laughs> that, and that's what I get here. You have the page of wands. I do feel that this could be a person that is coming in for you here, Taurus. So if you're looking for love, definitely uh, could be a fire sign, could be any sign. I really feel it's someone who is just very enthusiastic. I, I, you know, I just get it like an enthusiastic energy coming off this page of wands. So I feel like it's someone who's got like, you know, a, a real, you know, desire for life. I feel like they want to live in. I feel like they're open to experiences. I feel like this type, this is like the the vibe that I'm getting here is it's like, this is the type of person where I feel like if you say, hey, let's go do this, they're just, they're just down. You know, they're just down to do everything. They want to have a lot of experiences. They're not like a Pisces like me, you know, wanting to stay home all the time and all that other stuff. Um, totally get it. <laughs> we have, we, we're, we're supposed to have fun in life, right? So this person here, understands how to have fun. So uh, that's kind of what stands out to me. I also feel like you're feeling more excited by kind of like stepping into a new world. Again, I feel like if you can let go of the past regrets re and realize that you're capable of a lot more, it's like you're opening up all these possibilities in your life. Uh, you have this next in the area of the unexpected, you have unexpected income, which is amazing. So there definitely could be more money coming in for you. Again, that makes a lot of sense to me. It looks to me like you're improving your finances as well. I would make sure that you, you know, I'm getting these words like get used to it. Um, <laughs> that, the, 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 that's the word that is popping into my head here. My thing is, is it's like sometimes I think if you're like making more money, it, it's like maybe you need to take some time to get used to the more money. Sometimes we're just like, I feel like we're just not used to it. And, you know, I'm sure you've all heard stories. There are tons of them out there of like people who it's like they become rich, for example. And, it, and it's like, actually they're rich, but they have no money. It's because like, you know, they buy a Lamborghini and a, and a mansion and like all that other stuff. So they're always, it's like they're making a lot of money, but all the money is leaving. So they're not truly rich. It's like, yeah, they're rich, but they're not because they don't have any money because it's all like escaping. And I'm not saying that's gonna happen to you. I'm just saying like for some of you, if you're making more money, I feel like maybe getting used to that level of money or something, it just popped into my head. So I'm gonna say it. Uh, you have the Six of Swords, the Nine of Cups and the Knight of of swords here. The Six of Swords is a card of moving on to calmer shores. It's a card of improvements as well. And I do feel that there are improvements coming in for you with the Six of Swords. It's going to be really important for you, um, I feel, to kind of like pay attention to your vibration with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups has been coming up like crazy for everyone. And again, to me, the Nine of Cups is an, it's like a card of bathing in an energy. It's a card of like really soaking up the energy of a life that you want to live. I think that we are in a time, I don't think I know, that we're in a time where if there's ever a time where you could fake it till you make it, it's like right now. I, I, I'm not a big fan of fake it till, till you make it. I think you should just be whatever you want to be and, and make it happen, right? So I'm not a big fan of the whole fake it till you make it thing. But at the same time, I feel like there are certain situations where it's, it, it's like, as long as you're working towards something, you know, to me, I'm a, I am a big fan of irrational self-confidence as well. Um, but um, what I would say here is it's kind of like if you want love, you know, be in that energy. If you want money, be in that energy. I'm sure you've all heard me say it before. The Nine of Cups is about kind of like bathing in an energy. And I feel like the more you can do that, the better. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords here. So again, I would just double check things. 
Again, uh, the Knight of Swords to me is a card of needing to kind of like double check what you're doing. It's a card of rushing and normally the horse that the Knight of Swords is riding kind of looks a little bit stressed out. It looks like he's forcing it to run, which he is. And so it's a card that says, do not force things to happen. And also, um, to me, it's a card of getting a second opinion. So if like someone tells you that something's going to cost a bunch of money after you're making a bunch of money, you might want to get a second opinion, but I definitely wouldn't like rush things like that. Uh, at the end here, you have this ladder card. It says climbing towards success. You also have this ax card. It says forces working against you. Um, again, um, I said this at the beginning of the year. Actually, no, um, this was in February. There was some weird energy of like people, things happening behind your back and all this other stuff. And this came up for pretty much everyone. So I would just be careful of you know anything that seems too good to be true. Or again, Knight of Swords, anyone who's forcing something to happen. Uh, this is the area of messages for your, from your guides, by the way. You have the Three of Wands, the Fool, and the Six of Cups. I mean, that is a <laughs> that is a leap of faith row if I haven't ever seen it. The Fool says, take a leap of faith. The Three of Wands says, what are you waiting for? And the Six of Cups is like, try again. So for a lot of you, I wouldn't really necessarily call this a second chance reading, but it's given me those vibes of like you trying something that didn't work out in the first time, that didn't work out the first time. Like if you had a business that failed, you could be trying the business again. If you had a job that failed, you could be trying a job again. If love failed, I feel like you're, maybe you're not going back to a person, but I feel like you're kind of trying love again with this energy. And the Three of Wands really says you're ready. Um, Three of Wands is kind of like a card of waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. So I do feel like it's time for you to take a leap of faith. I feel like it's time for you to get out there. And uh, again, you have the Six of Cups, which is like a gift from the universe. Six of Cups says, you know, that obstacles are being removed from your path. So I feel for a lot of you, any obstacles that you've experienced in the past are being removed, which is a good thing. But uh, we're going to clarify through this here, Taurus, and we're just going to see what is going on for you. With the Strength card, you have the King of Pentacles, you. <laughs> you are showing up in a strong position here with the Strength card. You're showing up in a position of power and strength. Um, you know, I really feel like it's just you, your energy. I, I feel like any type of like strength activities would be a good idea for you. And what I mean by that is uh, strength is about working on yourself and it's about getting your, you know, your inner critic to submit to you. So anything you can do to, um, you know, get your inner critic to submit to you would be a good idea, right? Uh, with the lovers in the six of pentacles, you have the 10 of swords. I feel like you're just picking a new path. Like I said, plain and simple with that lover's card. You know, some of you could be experiencing a breakup or a separation. Um, you know, as I always say, there are plenty of other channels that will tell you all about your breakup. I'm not, I'm not one of them. <laughs> and what I would say here is some of you could be going through that. I feel like really you're just picking a new path. With the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, you have the King of Swords. Could be someone more mature or older than you with the King of Swords here if you're looking for love. It would be very passionate and like I said, very enthusiastic type of energy that I'm getting here. Could be someone older than you. It could, if it's not someone older than you, with the King of Swords, it can just be a person who is very mature. They carry themselves in a very mature way, or it can be a person who is like an authority figure of in some way with that uh, King of Swords. Between the Five of Cups and the Six of Swords, you have the Page of Swords. Definitely time for you to explore things. I feel like you're exploring new opportunities because normally. You know, on the Five of Cups, there are the three cups built over, then two cups behind the person on the Five of Cups. If he were to just turn around and see those two cups, he would see a bridge that leads to a castle. So it's a card of like needing to, you know, look for new opportunities. And that Page of Swords is very similar. With the Six of Pentacles and the uh, Nine of Cups, look at this, Queen of Swords. You have all the Swords cards here now, <laughs> for whatever reason. But Queen of Swords, you finally see things clearly. Uh, you finally understand uh, the direction that you're supposed to be going in your life. Qu Queen of Swords, she's the first Swords court card where the clouds are only like halfway up her body. Uh, with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Swords, you have the Empress. So definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you. I feel, you know, you have that unexpected income card. I don't really feel like it's unexpected. I think it's just because, again, the Empress, the, the thing about the Empress is that the Empress says you've done the work. So it's not like, is it really unexpected? Uh, I would say probably not, but maybe sometimes I do think like if we have a business or we launch a project and it does well, we maybe don't expect it. It's like we want it to do well, but do we expect it to do well? Maybe not. So that, I kind of feel like that's going on here. 
I also feel like you're very abundant at this time. The Empress, she's able to create abundance. She has that scepter normally in her hand, and that's what she uses to like grow the wheat that is in front of her. And so I feel a lot of you are, you know, I'd be using your powers of manifestation here, Taurus, is what I would say to you. With the Six of Swords and the Three of Wands, you have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, I just feel like you're walking away from the Six of Swords. <laughs> um, the, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. On the Six of Swords, normally it's a woman and a child. They're leaving behind their entire life. They're leaving behind everything they know, and they're going to the other side. So I feel like you're just going to the other side, basically. Um, with the Nine of Cups and the Fool, here you go. Death card, transformation, undergoing some sort of change or transformation in your life. I feel with that full card, it's just saying there is a new beginning with the death card. There is also normally a white rose on the death card in the flag that the death rider is carrying. And so, like I said earlier, with that purity card, it's almost like mm, there's some sort of, you know, to me, pure intentions, to me, it's saying the leap of faith that you're taking is something that you want in your life. It's like a new beginning or you know, it's something that you truly love to do. So um, like if you're starting a new business or something, pure intentions would mean that it's something that you that you want to do because you want to do it. You know, those are like pure intentions. With the Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups, you have the High Priestess. I would definitely trust your intuition at this time. I do feel there are a lot of mysteries uh, going around just in general. And I, I've been telling everyone, I would dig into mysteries with the high priestess. We don't really know what's behind her. Um, it's a mystery. <laughs> so I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like saying, there might be some mysteries in your life where it's like you don't know where things are going or you don't know how something is going to turn out in your life during this quarter. But the high priestess kind of encourages you to explore mysteries because um, you, know, you never know what you're going to discover. Let's see. Uh, your outcome row, top row outcome, you have the eight of wands, quick success. Uh, eight of wands is like quick success, quick conclusion, good news, good things coming in for you. So definitely something good coming in for you here in the last row. Uh, in the middle row here, you have the Hierophant. You showing up in a strong position. You're actually showing up as your major arcana. You started as the King of Pentacles. And now you're ending with the high, uh, the Hierophant. So it's like you're showing up in the highest vibration possible. I feel this is a quarter where you're definitely going to be learning a lot. But what I would say is Page of Swords, High Priestess. It's like learning from mysteries. Learning because you're curious about something. Page of Wands as well. Same energy. Um, it's actually a pretty simple quarter for you, I think, with this energy. And it's going to be because, you know, I feel like exploration um, or kind of like curiosity is going to be your best friend. Uh, bottom row, you have the Devil. I would avoid, again, Toxic people, toxic energy. Um, I kind of feel like this is more like a work hard, play hard type of energy as well. If you're experiencing more income, for example, I feel like you're going to be wanting to work harder at this time. So to me, it's just saying that you're like working hard. <laughs> and I feel like the devil is saying, make sure to get plenty of rest, make sure not to work yourself to the bone. But all in all, this is very simple. Like I said, I feel that a lot of you are kind of getting a second chance to do something that you wanted to do and their success coming in and also could be unexpected income as well. So uh, thank you for being here, Taurus. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your quarter.